Hello, and welcome to the Getting Started video. If you are watching this video, it means you have already completed the sign-up process. If not, please create a new account on store.gilas.com slash signup, and after finishing the sign-up process, you will be back to this video. The first thing after signing up is to set up your store. We've made it simple for everyone to get started fast. You can literally set up your entire store in a minute and start serving your customers immediately. In order to quickly set up your entire store, we are going to use the powerful Import Store feature in Gilas. Using this feature, you can use one of the pre-configured stores we have professionally created and then customize it for perfection. To start, click Settings button on the bottom and then scroll down to see the imports. If you have a small screen and cannot see the Settings button, click on Menu at the top and the button will appear. You can also see the options to import from CSV files or previous versions of Gilas, but our plan is to import the data from one of the previously configured stores. Here we can see a list of available sample stores. Please spend some time and have a closer look at these samples by checking the images to watch in full screen mode and then choose the store which is closest to your type of business. Please note that all imported data can be customized later to match your business. When you've decided what store to import, click on the Import button. Here, I'm going to select Alterations and Dry Cleaning because it gives me more options to demonstrate. On the next page, as you can see, I have a few steps to import my sample store. The first step is to select the tax. If you are in the US, it might be VAT, or in Australia, you would create a GST. Here, I'm going to create VAT by clicking this link. The link takes me directly to the Taxes page. I can also get to this page by clicking Settings and then selecting Taxes. To add a new tax, I click the plus button on the top. Let's say the tax name is going to be VAT, and the rate is 10%. Please note that since I want the tax to be added on top of the item price, I will leave the Inclusive checkbox unchecked. In some countries like Australia, the tax is usually included in the price, which in this case, Inclusive should be checked. After creating the tax, I'll get back to the imports. Now I can select the VAT tax I just created and then click on step 2. In this step, I can select the articles to import, like items, attributes, categories, layouts, print templates, etc. I suggest importing everything, and then later you can remove unnecessary items. So I'm going to check all the options for now and move on to the next step. Here you can choose whether everything gets added to a register or not. For a clean import, let's add everything into a register. Please note that register refers to any computer or device which is running Gilas. It's important to know that before being able to use anything, it must be added to a register. For example, if you create a payment method, you will also need to add it to the current register to use it. So it's a good idea to let automated import do it for you. I finalize the import by clicking the import button on the next step and sit back and relax until the import is done. Please note that it could take up to a minute for the import to be finalized. Once done, Gilas will automatically load the new data and redirect you to the new transaction page. We have successfully imported our sample store configuration. In our next video, I'll show you how to place a new transaction.